Good afternoon and thanks for taking the time to watch this. For your resources this time around, I wanted to take a moment to speak to you about a term called optimal distinctiveness. In the next three-ish minutes or so, I want to explain what that is and why it's important for your small group. So the term optimal distinctiveness is a theory that a woman named Marilyn Brewer came up with in the 1990s. Very basically, it asserts that people, as they are searching for their identity, are really looking for two things. The first thing is that they want to belong. They want to feel and know that they are fully a part of a group. It's more than just being included and it's further than being accepted. It's being fully in. The second thing that they're looking for is that they want to be acknowledged as distinct or unique or one of a kind. They want their individual gifts, skills, and experiences recognized and validated. So, in optimal distinctiveness, we feel most validated in our identity when we can balance those two things. So, how does this apply to small groups? Well, as leaders, we want to make sure we're creating an environment in which people feel like they belong, like they are fully in. This gives security and comfort knowing that they are not alone and that they are seen as fully part of your group. And secondly, we want to emphasize how special and unique each member of the group truly is. I believe it's biblically supported that each person has gifts that are one of a kind to offer. And we can validate those by acknowledging how each person is distinct. And then we can even help them utilize their distinctiveness, perhaps through praying or volunteering or giving or leading or whatever it is that makes that person unique and distinct. And the truth is that this is something that we try to do at an all church level, but when we have a weekend of attendance of about 900 or so people, it's nearly impossible to make sure that every person who walks through the doors feels like they belong 100% and that they feel recognized for being distinct. That's why we need small groups to affirm the identity of every person within our sphere of influence. So I want you to take the next month and think about that term optimal distinctiveness and how you as a leader can help each member of your group achieve that within the group context as we were all still continually establishing our identity in Christ. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.